Good morning, Cougars. It's Mrs. Bella Tash with the morning announcements. I'm so excited to be here this morning. Good morning, Joya. Good morning, Miss Bella Tash and Jake and Sam and Alex. Yeah, we have so many people. Good morning. So I think today's flag is an amazing flag. Izzy from kindergarten. Let's see that. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful flag. Pretty, okay. Place your right hand over your heart and begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Excellent, thank you so much, Joya. Hey, boys and girls, we are gonna have nine days of enrichment staff. Uh, Mr. Martinez is on a special assignment. He's taking a Greek nine-day yo-yo course online. I didn't know it took nine days to learn how to play with the yo-yo, but whatever, he's gonna have nine days to learn how to use the yo-yo. Um, today, I have a new COVID tip of the day. And actually, it's not a new COVID tip of the day. It is getting back to basics. We all know what has worked, right? We know about washing our hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. We know about wearing masks and keeping our distance from other people. So let's just stay, go back to basics and make sure that we all stay safe. That is great. All right. Hey, I would like to meet uh, Alex and Sam. Of course, I know Alex and Sam. They were our annual giving campaign winners from last Friday's raffle. Hi. Julia, can you ask them about uh, their grade in class? Yes. Tell us what grade in class you are. Um, my name is Alex. I am in fourth grade and my teacher is Miss Parsegian. My name is Sam, and I'm in third grade, and my teacher is Miss Reba. This week, Luca is asking everybody on Luca's Audible Laughs to share their favorite enrichment classes and why. Tell us your favorite en en enrichment classes and why. My favorite enrichment class is science because I like to see the outcome of all the experiments we do. My favorite enrichment class is dance. I like to move and I love to learn about dances all around the world. Oh, I love both of those answers. That's fantastic. And of course, you guys know that dance has a lot of science in it, all about those forces and music and sound. That's excellent. Hey, Joya and Jake, I want to ask you a little bit about Frosty Night. Joya, how did you and your sister enjoy Frosty we Night? Did. We enjoyed it very much. It was really fun, and we made graham cracker gingerbread houses. Mmm, that sounds good. Hey, Jake, as our historian, you know that Mr. Martinez had had some challenges with the cartoon night. How did Frosty Night compare? Um, I was not feeling well, so I didn't watch, but I'm sure it did a lot better. Well, I've heard it went a lot better. Uh, Jake, what have you got for us for your Jawson Week in History? Uh, there it is. On December 6, 1884, construction of the Washington Monument was completed, and then I have a picture of. Wow. Actually, have you ever uh, been to the Washington Monument? I think a few weeks ago I did um, another Washington Monument one. The it was open to the public one. Ah. I, think that, I think that was like fifty years later or something. Uh huh. Yeah. Have you ever been there? Actually, I haven't. I've never even been. To Washington. Oh well, I've been there and up and down the the Washington Monument. It's very tall. Excellent. Hey, boys and girls, you know, I teach earth science and I teach life science and I teach physical science, but there is another kind of science I want to share with you today and it's called yeah, computer, science. computer science. Computer science. And I have Mrs. Manning with me who's going to help me talk about Hour of Code. Good morning, Mrs. Manning. How are you today? Good morning. I'm well. How are you? 
Well, I am better now that we're going to be talking about Hour of Code. Yes. So computer science, it's like a, a kind of, it's newer science. But, and I, I know that there's this organization called code.org yes. and they've been doing this thing called Hour of Code. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, so yeah, so this week is Computer Science Education Week. And um, basically, we want to demystify what coding is and just teach kids that everyone has the ability to learn the basics of coding. Um, and we can do that in a really fun way by participating in the Hour of Code, which I hope everyone will this week. Yeah, no, I, I, I know that I've already done some of them. You have? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jake, that's great. Now, Jake, I know. The, uh, a lot of kids like to play this thing called Minecraft. Yeah. And I think there's something about Minecraft, Mrs. Manning. Yes. Let me share my screen with you all. And pull that up. Here we are. All right. So all you have to do to participate this week is just go to code.org. And you'll actually be given a lot of options, like this This dance party looks pretty fun right here. Sam, you might like that because <laughs> since dance is one of your favorites. Yeah. So just go ahead and check this out. Um, again, lots of different options, whatever floats your boat. Um, I chose to do this Minecraft Hour of Code, like you said. And I'm actually on a level right now that I was thinking that maybe some of you could help me with it. Do you think you can help me with, with some coding this morning, Jake? Uh, I can. Oh boy. But so half the reason is because I've actually already done this one. So <laughs> perfect, then you can help me because I'm, I'm a little stuck right now. Uh, so, so you put the repeat until goal function. Under so first of all, what are we trying to do with this one here? What are so we trying to do? We're, if, so we're trying to catch that salmon over there. Ah. So I'm all the way down here and yeah. I have to somehow get around the maze and it looks like I can go maybe this way and up through here or through here, but then I might hit this little turtle friend right here or up through here. But I wanna get to the, I wanna catch a salmon on my way to underwater ruins. So you put the repeat into a goal under one run. Then you do the move forward three times. Do you have so, to put that in three times? So the repeat until goal actually doesn't have the repeat three times. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. So all you have to do is just throw it away, but I'll use the, and, and this is a special kind of block. Um, does anyone it's know what this function. is? It, it is a function, but what specific function is it? Um, it's a loop function. Yeah, and, and in coding, this is really, really helpful because instead of telling the robot to do something, you know, a bunch of times, move forward, move forward, move forward, Jake, what could we do instead? We could do um, the repeat three times, one move forward. Oh, so much easier. Then we do... Can I interrupt for one second? I think some moms need this, right? We have to be repeating ourselves. We could just use the repeat function. Yeah. So um, then we have to put a turn right. Then we have to put a turn right under the. So I'll be I'll, I'll be right here. So I'll turn right. Okay. You won't actually move. So then you need to do the repeat three times and switch the three to a two. Oh. Well, you already did this one, so you know how far you have to go. Yeah. So if I'm turning right, then I'll go one, two. I think you need three. Oh, yeah, three. Yeah, mm -hmm. three. Yeah, I think okay. I just did something wrong last time that made me think it was two, but maybe. So, um, and then you have to redo all of that thing, thing stuff one more time to get to. But the are you going to turn right? Yeah. Or am no. I going to turn left? Or am I going to hit this turtle? <laughs> After you do that, you're going to go 
Um, up three again, turn right and middle three again, and you'll get the sand. So I think we need to turn left. How do we get it to, to change? It says right. What do we do? You press, the, you press the right, ah. and then a little thing will pop down. You need to press left. Excellent. So then you'll do um, the forward three. Mm -hmm. Then you'll do a turn right. And then you'll do another move forward three. And repeat um, three times? Move forward three times, repeat. And this is where we could actually use the repeat until goal, I think, right? Move yeah. forward until you reach your goal. Ah. Now, I think we are doing something wrong because we're using 12 blocks when we're supposed to use yeah, 10. Put, so there is um, when I did the level, I just put the repeat until goal block up there and I put at, um, all the other stuff in between it. Interesting. So, so there is. Is a way That's what to you're supposed it. to do, I mm -hmm. think, because when I started it, the repeat until goal block actually under one run. Mm -hmm. so. Can I interrupt for just a second? Mrs. Manning, what happens if we hit run now and we're, we have too many blocks? Let's see. It, it probably will work, but you might not catch the level. Catch the level or something. Okay, so we got the salmon. Yeah. Yeah. But it does say you wants to do it in in ten blocks and say and ask you to try again. Well, Mrs. Manning, this has been awesome. So Jake, we're gonna we're gonna leave that one behind because we need to move on. But this hour of code is so much fun. Does it, is there something like this with Vex for our robotics, Mrs. Manning? Yeah. So if if this if none of these uh, games um, really strike your fancy. There's also a VEX hour of code, which is um, pretty cool because it's all about using a VR ocean cleaning robot oh. to, uh, to help the reef. And so you're, you're cleaning uh, plastic from a reef. And this is really cool because you can choose whether you feel that you're a new coder, you've had some coding experience, or if you've had a lot of coding experience, um, you could choose level three. So this is just another really fun option to practice our code. And the great thing about coding is even if you don't do it quite right, it teaches you persistence, mm -hmm. problem solving, you have to try again. So it's so much more than just learning to actually code. And you know what, Mrs. Manning, all of us, we couldn't do, uh, have our Zoom call. We couldn't be using all these fun game apps if we some wasn't, someone wasn't doing coding. So you guys can do coding. I can do coding. We can all learn a little bit. Fantastic. Mrs. Manning, thank you so much for coming and I, helping me with Hour of Code. I also wanted to say one other thing. About okay. Um, I actually have been learning the computer language Java lately, so. Excellent. Oh, so oh, you're never too young. Fantastic. Hey, let's get going to the words of wisdom. Have you ever decided to do something you knew was wrong and told yourself, mm, I'll just do it this one time, nobody will ever know? Well, guess what? Somebody will know. You will know. You will know that you did something wrong. And then how will you feel about yourself? How will you feel tomorrow? The Dutch say, what is wrong today won't be right tomorrow. In other words, tomorrow you won't be able to tell yourself that it's all right, that wrong you did, because you are too smart to fool yourself. Good idea. Just don't do the wrong thing in the first place. Do the right thing, and as always, if you don't know what the right thing is, ask your parent, or grandparent, or teacher, or counselor. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Bellatash. And Mrs. Manning. And Julia. And Jake. And Alex. And Sam. Make it a great day. Or not. The choice is yours. Hey, Alex and Sam, do you want to give a uh, shout out? I have a shout out to all my friends and classmates and my great teacher, Miss Parsi. Excellent, Sam. I want to give a shout out to 
my friends and I also want to give out a uh, shout out to my teacher because it's her birthday. <laughs> Excellent. Um, and I also want to give a shout out to my parents for being the best. Friend. There, that is so awesome. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Bye.